Hi, it's Adam here from adaminsights.com and I want to ask the question, how easy is it to convert a true black and white image into a good looking colour image with all of the right colours, tones and shadows and details correct? Well, previously, yeah, and really from what I understand currently, it does require some really high-end specialized software and a very uh, skilled operator to get it right. But there are some uh, more tools uh, out there uh, that can supposedly do a really good job of it. So let's give it a try. Converting a color image into black and white is something that's quite easy to do. Here's a photograph that I shot digitally in color and in Photoshop. I'm not going to go adjustments black and white because that can introduce some um, uh, different filters to enhance specific shapes. But it, more importantly for this experiment, it actually retains the RGB, red, green, blue information in the file. I want this experiment to really try and put some of these new tools through their paces. So I'm going to go up here into mode and I'm going to select grayscale. Yes, it will discard all of the color information and the resulting file will only uh, be made up of pixels that are somewhere on the white through to black spectrum. So let's just discard all color information. Now it is a true black and white or grayscale image. So I'm just going to save this. I'm just going to use a JPEG. Okay. So I'm going to try this website, which I've heard some great things about, colorize.sg. It's free to use, and it's got supposedly a really good algorithm that can analyze the image and look at uh, the different tones and work out what color should be where. So I've given it an image that is 1600 pixels on the long edge. It's not um, a massive file, but it should be, well, I hope that it's sharp enough uh, for this experiment. So we just have to validate ourselves with the capture. Well, that's good. Um, I normally hate these things, but I know they're necessary, but they're not always the most fun thing to use. All right, so I'm just going to select the photo. Okay, there's the uh, grayscale photo that we've just saved. Open. Okay, it looks like it's doing its thing. Whoa. Wow. That's actually done quite a good job. Let's just download the result back in Photoshop I'm just going to undo my black and white conversion now let's just bring in the colorize.sg image and place that on top so obviously it got the sky right it got the trees right, it figured out what the clouds were, it got these tones kind of right, it's retained all of this detail. It has probably fallen over a little bit down here, and it's lost the green grass. <laughs> and it did think that these reeds that are actually uh, dried and brown colour in the original colour image are actually meant to be green. But I guess I can see how the algorithm is working and that's quite impressive for an online tool. Okay, let's try a few things, let's try a few different things here. So here's an image that I shot on Ilford FP4 black and white film. So it was only ever taken as a black and white image. There was never any color information recorded 
for the, this photograph. Let's try this one. So I just save a web ready JPEG. I always save as a web ready uh, JPEG because uh, it just makes sure that any metadata that might have any personal information in there is removed as well. Really important. All right. So let's just refresh this and we'll give it another try. I am not a robot. So this is the FP4 image. Let's have a look at the comparison. So the Commonwealth Bank logo in Australia is yellow in this part. And somehow it's figured out that that particular gray tone needed to equal yellow. So it's got that right. It's figured out that this is obviously a green tree. And yeah, this particular guy did have dark skin. It was shot towards the evening, so there is a bit of a yellowy tone. Yeah, it's actually colorized this. It has actually done a reasonable job of figuring out what colors are meant to be what. Because it's done the tree, it's got this guy's shirt right, it's got this guy's bag right, it's got her jeans right, and it's really impressed me how it's managed to get uh, the colors in this logo right as well. Hmm. Now I want to try something different again. This is a photograph that is more than a hundred years old. It's a World War I uh, military uh, image. So the aircraft itself should be green around here. The propeller should be brown. I guess the ground should either be like a green grass or mud. The uniform should be green. And obviously the skin tone should be uh, skin color. The sky, I don't know if this was taken on an overcast day or not. But this photograph is over 100 years old. Let's give this image a try and see what Colorize SG can do. So this image is 768 pixels on the long edge, so it's not necessarily a very high image, a very high resolution image. Okay, so that looks like a bus, that looks like a bus, that looks like a bus, there's no other buses. Verify. Okay. Let's see what it makes of this. Hmm. Well, the uniform at that time definitely would have been green. I guess it sort of figured out that there was meant to be some brown here. The green brown of the aircraft is about right. The ground, yeah, if that's grass, it would be green, but it looks like there'd be a lot of mud there as well. Skin tones, I'd say it's got that right. For a free, online tool this algorithm is obviously really good now there are a few other uh, tools out here out there as well this is one of the other online tools algorithmia I'm keen to give this one a try so let's just try the same image Hmm, obviously their algorithm works in a little bit of a different way. I don't actually, I actually think that Colorize SG has potentially come 
difficult to say which one has uh, done potentially a better job. Maybe this one is a little bit better if that plane is actually uh, quite muddy. This one's definitely got a lot more contrast around the engine area. Let's try... Let's try the digital again. Well, by comparison, this one's about the same as Colorize SG. Maybe it actually has done a little bit of a better job around uh, the reeds, but I think it's really done no better with uh, the concrete in the foreground. So I've skipped this one one last try with the Ilford FP4 image. Okay, so this one hasn't done as good a job as Colorize SG with the Ilford FP4 image. And the reason for that is immediately I'm looking at the Commonwealth Bank logo on the right hand side. It hasn't picked up that that logo is meant to be yellow. Also, it seems to have completely missed uh, the colors of uh, the clothes of uh, the three people on the right. And it's basically just, it hasn't colorized anything on the left hand side. Okay then, so that's some of the free online photo colorization tools. I hope you enjoyed checking them out as much as I did. Um, I actually am quite taken by them. I think for colorizing some older photos or just uh, for curiosity, yeah, I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys did too. Alright, um, please uh, check out my new website. I've done a lot of uh, new stuff with it. I've added some new images. We'd love to know what everyone thinks. All right. I hope everyone's uh, having a great day. Cheers.